Pinan Nidan is usually taught to the students before Pinan Shodan because it's deemed easier for the student to learn the movements. Turn your body and let the feet follow naturally. Do not step with your foot. The left hand is on top of the right. Again, let the hands move naturally. Do not make any unnecessary movements. Perform the same movement to the opposite side. When moving forward, keep the front foot straight. Notice that both heels are raised. Turn your body as you perform Nukite spear hand attack and make your stance shiko dachi <coughs> it's important to sink your body weight when blocking with a toshi uke do not block with just your arm This application of the same movement from Pinan Nidan shows how to change a defensive blocking movement into an attacking punch using the same arm. A key point, use Shuto Uke to keep your opponent off balance and make sure you strike above the elbow joint. This will further stop your opponent using his own elbow for a further attack. To apply the same technique from Pinan Nidan to a combative situation, Sagami Sensei shows one of the main aspects of Wadaru Karate. The main aspect being not using blocking techniques, but using body evasion. The Atashi Uke block is now changed to Naga Ashizuki Punch. The basic practice of this monkey movement is the use of correct body turning in order to deflect the opponent's attack while simultaneously striking with Nukite spear hand technique. Using the principle of Nagasu body evasion, Sakami Sensei changes the Nukate technique to a backfist strike to the inner thigh.
Because the carta shows Nukate strike, this does not mean it's necessarily performed in this manner. The basic principle is still Nakasu, with the Nukate technique now being transformed to Seiken punch. <laughs>